You might like to have some randomly behaving objects in your level, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have a very simple game set up here with a sprite, a background, an object, and a room. So when we look at the room, you'll see that I've got a cloud in the middle of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that when that object is created, so when it first appears, then I'm going to get it to move, and I'm using the move free. Now the direction, I would normally set a number between 1 and 360 to how many degrees, but I'm saying random brackets 360. So that tells it um, it'll pick a number, and I'm going to set a speed up to 5. Now what I'm also, that will just get it, setting off in a particular direction. Because it will actually go off the screen very quickly, I'm also going to set another event that says once it goes outside the room, I in fact want it to uh, create an object. So uh, create an instance of um, itself. So basically it'll make another one of itself. Um, in terms of the um, area, I'm going to use uh, where it'll land. I'm going to put it in a random spot again. So um, I'm setting up some more random numbers. Now, that's probably not within the whole window, but that's saying it can be an X coordinate of up to 400 and a Y coordinate of up to 400. Um, all right, let's see how that goes. So I'm thinking, all right, let's just see. Okay, so moving in a random direction. Oh, goodness. All right, I think I'm about to kill this game because it'll have too many objects. So, there you go. Objects are moving so quickly and they're leaving the space so quickly that they're creating other objects which are creating other objects. But that does show you a way and those codes will work in terms of introducing a bit of randomness to your game.